association with the pioneer of technical analysis in India, only on ET Now. Good afternoon, you're watching Markets at Lunch and I'm Nikhil Stahl. It's the show. We will get you detailed technical analysis as well as stock-specific trading ideas from CK Narayan on the technical... The YTT chart for TCS and Infosys, TCS is outperforming Infosys. But the minute I narrow it down to a 10-day chart or a one-month chart, Infosys is outperforming TCS. Do you think the large cap or do you think the pecking order for large cap IT has changed? It is indeed possible because if you see Infi has actually uh, you know dropped down pretty sharply post uh, the results uh, specifically across the last about three quarters. If you look back uh, you know at the time post every every quarterly result Infi has uh, actually greeted the results with a push downward. And then on the charts also it had formed a pretty bearish pattern the targets of which had been met at about 2200. So all through this period actually TCS had been consolidating and actually putting on some amount of gains. So the, uh, you know, the divergence between the two of them was fairly marked at uh, maybe a month or two ago. Now I think uh, the maybe downward push of TCS and uh, the upward recovery of INFI is seemingly resetting that, uh, that particular anomaly between the two leaders. So maybe there is a little bit of, we saw a lot of switching out of INFI into TCS, maybe we will see or we are seeing a little bit of sort of reverse switching between TCS into INFI because maybe fundamentally INFI offers a little more value at the current level or at the lower prices. So I think that is an anomaly which is being or in the process of getting corrected now. So we will probably see the out and under the performance between the two of them getting corrected some.